What's up you guys, it's your boy Delft and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to rant on Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. So this is 1 million percent subjective because this is something personally I don't like about these games. The reason the video is called Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is Trash is because that's a tradition here on my channel. Plus, I think the game is trash, so I'm going to call the game trash on my channel. Alright, that's why the video is titled like that. But this is 1 million percent subjective because personally for me, I didn't like uh, Like a Dragon, uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, the uh, first turn-based one, the prequel to this one. I did not like that game. That's why I only played it once, never touched it again. And this is why this video is so subjective and you're going to find that out when we get to gameplay. Now, social media links are in the description and get that out the way. So, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. I've been playing this game all night. I've been pulling an all-nighter on this game because I was trying to get some dopamine in my brain. I was. I was trying to find something good about this game, but I couldn't find anything, my guy. So, let me start with graphics, and then I'm going to just ramble. So, the graphics... They are really, really gorgeous. I not the best I've seen, but they are really gorgeous. You know, they they look good. They look great. Um, it's just your average on top of everything else I've seen. But as a game alone, bro, the graphics are just really, really good, man. I can't hate on the graphics. So like I always say on this channel, graphics are a visual thing. So all I can say is um, it looks great. I love how the game takes place in Hawaii. I really, really love that. So really, really appreciate that, man. Hawaii looks great. Character designs are great. I love the open world, like plenty of pedestrians and stuff like that. That is really, really amazing. And the open world just looks outstanding. The game is like visually appealing. It really is. Like the visuals are just amazing. And sadly, I have to leave it there because when it comes to graphics, bruh, like it's a visual thing. It's something that you can only look at. So I can't, you can't really explain it for real. Let's go I'm not really finna go into categories, I'm just about to ramble. This is why I labeled this video 1 million percent subjective. 1 million. I hate Yakuza as a turn base. There's a reason I played Like a Dragon, the first one. There's a reason I played it for like a second and never touched it again. Never mentioned it again, but I played it once. And it's because Yakuza as a turn base, that just rubs me the wrong way. Uh, now keep in mind, I'm not like a veteran with the series. I'm not, uh, like I think my first Yakuza game was Lost Judgment, so I'm not really sure. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Yakuza Like a Dragon, the first one, the prequel, when it went turn-based for the first time, when Yakuza went turn-based with that game, I did not like it. All right, my guy, let me pause the video to fix what my dumbass was trying to say. So what I was trying to say right here was, if Yakuza Like a Dragon was not the first Yakuza game to go turn-based, let me know, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm not a veteran with the series. I don't know if Yakuza Like a Dragon was the first Yakuza game to go turn-based. If it was, then I was right. If it's not, then let me know. At the end of the day, I really don't care, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Is Yakuza Like a Dragon the first Yakuza game to go turn-based? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm not a veteran with the series. If I'm completely off, bro, correct me, but I don't care. Yeah, man, with that being said, Yakuza as a turn base, I don't like that. Because let's look at this, right? When you play a game that's in the Yakuza franchise, when I when I play a game that's in the Yakuza franchise, like for example, Lost Judgment. Lost Judgment is one of the greatest games I've ever played in my life. The reason I love that game, bruh, is because the Yakuza style, it just fits with the beat-em-up gameplay. 
it does in my opinion and then it's like you strip that beat em up gameplay from me and you turn it turn based i see it as a downgrade so when i look at this game as a yakuza game my guy i really really hate that that's why i can't get no dopamine in my brain because first of all i'm gonna get to that in a minute while the turn base is just lackluster and, and boring to me i'm gonna get to that in a minute like a, a yakuza game alone like when i played on um, the man who erased his name when i played that bro the beat em up was fantastic when i played yakuza zero and lost judgment never played the first judgment but when i played those games especially lost judgment it's like it's a downgrade like look at this comparison look at this comparison on how you'll play lost judgment and it's a really really exciting time and then you get on yakuza like a dragon infinite well and it's a downgrade. Check this comparison out. See, it just it it just doesn't fit for me, my guy. It it doesn't fit for me. Turning Yakuza into a turn base, I really, really fucking hate that. I really do. Now let's drift over into that, right? Let's drift over into that. When you do a turn base, man, do something unique. Do something epic. When it comes to Yakuza turn base, not only you strip that beat em up gameplay away from me, but you make your turn base so lackluster in my opinion. Every single turn base I've played, bruh, once again, it adds some, it adds some flavor to it, something unique, something to spice it up, whether it's the cinematics or whether it's the um, skill attacks, you know, the the uh, outstanding skill attacks with the cinematics uh they give me an army of party members something unique bro just uh, add something unique on top of your gameplay cinematics party members awesome jaw dropping skill attacks something something that makes that turn base stand out but when it comes to yakuza it's some of the blandest shit i've ever seen like in other turn base bro they add something to spice it up but in yakuza bro oh i'm dragging this bat oh i'm dragging this bat and i'm about to hit my opponent with it oh i'm about to swing this bat really hard charge the battery and shoot electricity at my opponent I know you get more party members later down the road, but here's why I don't give a fuck and I'm about to get into that. But the main character, the main character, he's the main character, right? So you're going to be playing with him 95% of the game. He is so boring to play with when it comes to turn base. Like I said before, drag your baseball bat, swing, drag your baseball bat, you know, hit your opponent with it. It is so goddamn boring. Like I said, let's go back to that. Seeing Yakuza as a turn base, I feel like it's a huge downgrade, right? Because there's a difference between picking up that weapon and bashing the enemy with it, right? There's a difference between doing that and then just going into a circle, press X, and they're just going to attack them for you like th that that is a small example of how yakuza as a turn base to me is a huge downgrade and i truly hate that that's why yakuza in my opinion is better off being a beat em up as a turn base it's a downgrade it's lackluster in my opinion and it doesn't it doesn't add anything special to the game it doesn't now, yes, I'm aware that there's special things in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, like the mini games and other stuff that they added to the game, right? Uh, Hawaii and vacation shit. 
but the combat on top of that is you know really important the combat is the main important thing so if i can't get into the combat man i i just really really fucking hate that next i wanted to call out how this game is just boring on top of that like i'm talking to some guy while pushing him in a wheelchair and you can't skip it which is so funny because same thing that i hated about soul art online last recollection i hate when video games do this hate it with a passion you gotta skip cutscenes multiple and multiple and multiple and multiple and multiple times like check this out what it's worth <laughs> Death. That shit is so annoying. It really is annoying, bro. I right, just let me skip the cutscene once as a whole. Cutscene, skip gameplay. Cutscene, skip gameplay. I know what y'all saying, bro. I know what y'all saying. You know the story is for you to get into the story. But if the game, if the overall game isn't good to me, then I won't get into the story. If the game was good, then maybe I would want to sit down and enjoy the story. I like Lost Judgment. In my opinion, Lost Judgment was a phenomenal game. It was a flawless game. So I sat down and actually got into the story. But if the game is overall trash, I don't care about the story because I see myself not playing this game any longer. So that's the funny thing about that, my guy. Let me skip the goddamn cutscenes as a whole. But no, you gotta skip it five times. I understand if a game wants me to skip it like twice, that's it. But like this game, same thing with Last Recollection. Skill, talk, skill, talk, skill, talk, skill. Let me skip the whole cutscene, my guy. If not that, then you should do it twice at best. But this game, mm -mm, six or seven. Well, I wanted to save this for last and I'm about to wrap it up. Now this is the last thing I wanted to get off my chest. This is one of the main, if not the main thing I hate about this game. Well, one of the main. So one of the main things that I hate about this game is why the fuck is it a game over? Why the fuck is it a automatic defeat if the main character gets knocked out? Then what's the point in the team? Like, look at this, bro. Check this out. I tested it right the first time that first clip was me testing it I wanted to see if this was one of those games where if the main character gets knocked out then mission over despite you having a whole team the other clips yes 
confirming that that is so stupid the main character gets knocked out it's a game over then what's the point in having a team now people will try to tell me you know oh just keep the main character alive keep them alive stuff like that no that's stupid because legit what's the point in having a fucking team What's the point of having a team if it's game over, if this main character dies, if this one character dies? Now I'm having a waste of turn to give your bitch ass some medicine so I won't get a game over. Like in this game, right, in games like this, it'll be times where the main character's about to die. Okay, he can die, and I'll use these last two characters to finish the battle. I always do that in my turn base. I oh that character's about to die. Okay, it's cool. Like for example, you will be playing a turn base. Oh, that character's about to die. Okay, that's cool. I can use my other three characters. I can use my other two characters to go ahead and finish the battle. You know, I think these two characters that are part of the team are strong enough. They can go ahead and finish the battle. Oh, main character knocked out. Game over. The fuck? Yeah, this game is so stupid. Main character gets knocked out. It's a game over. Then what's the point at having a fucking team? I hate when they do that in turn base. I hate it. So at the end of the day, I just think this game is stupid. I think it's boring, lackluster. And same thing with Yakuza Like a Dragon, the first one. I feel like going turn base is just a huge downgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. This is 1 million percent subjective. Yakuza going turn-based. That's a downgrade for me. That's something I hate personally. A Yakuza turn-based. That's why I only played the first one once and never touched it again. But it's your boy Delta. I'm out.